Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today, today is one of those days where I'm sitting back and I'm just like reflecting on everything that's happened in the month of March. Um, it's crazy to say that the month of March went by so fast and now I'm just like, am I ready for April? No. But what I will say is that Instead of talking about the things that, like, all of the things that happened in March, I feel like it was best for me to just kind of, like, take a moment and talk about what people really aren't talking about. I have, like, the hugest fear of, you know, going somewhere, um, whether it be, like, on the road so, like, my fear of being out on the road is, like, you know, people going really slow just to try and get a reaction out of you. And then you give that reaction. And then it's just, like, a like a road rage um, altercation. Um, especially, you know, I'm a mom, too, and I'm not afraid to go, um, let's just say ape shit on anyone I feel that I feel like March is really testing someone it has really tested us um, I was just saying the other day it was either Thursday or Friday that I was just saying how um, you know it's a bunch of shootings going on around the world and you know it started with the guy um killing the eight koreans i think it was or, or the chinese ladies and i'm like what for what for what i'm sorry to say but we need these people we want that we want to give them our money our business to get our nails done you know our feet done too our eyebrows waxed just like every race has so many different things that they can bring to the table and unfortunately Chinese you know or Korean women can bring that to the table they can they can do some nails it's just you know prayers are with the family that you know has to go through all of that the families because he didn't shoot just one two three eight um you know I was just saying, you know, that it, it hasn't happened in, in my neck of the woods. And, you know, that then it just so happens like the next day or the day after that is when <clears throat> the shooting at Virginia Beach for a walk went on. It's just crazy because we go there every summer, not once, but twice. And, um, you know, just just to know like anything can happen anywhere at any time really hurts it really hurts and it makes people worry inside and honestly i'm worried inside i've gotten to the point where like i don't take my kids with me to uh, like to grocery stores or stores period i try not to you know like if they want like a toy or something i'm like hey let's order it off of amazon or something or do walmart and you know get it delivered there and i'll pick it up while i'm there but I'm just so afraid because I don't know what the world is coming to. Um, you know, I'm very like overprotective when it comes to my kids. I'm very overprotective when it comes to like my feelings myself. Um, I wouldn't want my kids to question what that is. Um, I think. I think this year, one, one, yeah, within the last, you know, three months of 2021, um, me and my kids were sitting um, in, in our living room, and on the next street over, um, there was a shooting, and we had just got done with um, virtual learning, and I was on the floor helping my daughter with her math training. Um, and uh or her math you know like her math or whatever it's an app that they have for the kids and next thing you know you just heard like eight or nine of them go off boom 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 
And I'm on the floor like, whoa, wait a minute. Like, that's not something I want to explain to my kids just yet. Um, because I, I don't want to talk about guns. And then they go to school and say something about them. And then, you know, I'm having to jump on them for something that I talk to them about. Um, I definitely think that, you know, March is just, March has been crazy. I can't say that I'm looking forward to April because just look at March. I can say that I'm praying for all of the families who, you know, have lost their loved ones to the gun violence. I don't know what it's going to take to stop. I don't know what it's going to take to bring the world back together. I don't know what it's going to take for us to love one another. I don't know what it's going to take for us to be united as one like we should be. Um, you know, I feel, I feel like a lot of it has to do with a certain something, but I feel like I don't want to talk about that because it's just not me to go death in details about it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I was raised up right to love everyone, regardless of, you know, whatever. Um, and I'm just the type of person, like, I don't bother anybody unless someone bothers me. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, just randomly run around and put my hands on people unless they put their hands on me. You know, I'm gonna handle my business, point blank, period. Um, that's one thing that, you know, a lot of people learn about me off the rip. Like, you don't have to like me. You don't even have to love me. But you will respect me. And I feel that, you know, there is no respect in the world anymore. It's just like, you don't know what can happen. Um... I literally go to sleep every night with, like, uh, with a fear, you know, just like, the, the street that I live on, a lot of cars like to zoom through here, and I, I mean, I never know what can happen, um, and I just get, I just get irritated knowing that, um, things could be, you know, everybody could be united as one. But people choose to, you know, stay to themselves and then go out in the world and do things that they really shouldn't. But, you know, at the end of the day, people need to think, like, these people have families. These people have loved ones. These people have um, lives that they want to live. And it's crazy because I'm 27 years old and I have, like, a fear of, you know, not really wanting to be out in public for long just because of everything that's been going on. And, you know, luckily I've never been like in front of something like that when it's happened. I've never been around. I mean, just look at it. Virginia Beach, Friday, I mean, Saturday night. You look at it. Innocent chick around my age, just been, being a, a, a normal sta um, bystander, gets hit, boom killed crazy part is just like she was on bad girls club you know she had the opportunity to be on a tv show then you got this this guy who got killed and you know pharrell said that he, that's his cousin but it's just like how how do we know how do we know what's gonna happen do we want to know what's gonna happen like I said, I just feel that the world is just, like, losing its mind. And I don't think that people are thinking. And a lot of these people are... A lot of these people are just... Not thinking. Not thinking. I, you know, I like I said, I pray, I'm praying for the families that you all can make it you know day by day year by year and time to heal i hope that you all get this because this right here is not something that anyone probably ever you know expected and it's crazy because people can't go places without acting up showing out doing just being wild like I said, people want to go out and have a good time. 
people can't go out and have a good time because, oh, fights break out. And people can't just defend themselves by using their bare hands. People have to defend themselves nowadays by using a gun. So what if someone runs around and says, oh, I beat such and such up. So what? When I was raised up in the 1990s, it wasn't all of this. It wasn't this. When I was raised up, it was more along the lines of the, the Twin Towers. Um, you know, that situation. Terrorist attacks. It was the DC sniper hiding in the trunk, shooting people, and not. It just, that's the type of stuff. Nowadays, people are just so scared to fight with their bare hands that it's just a bunch of shootings going on, and people are getting out of control. As we walk into April tomorrow, I pray to God that it's not a joke. Because I really don't have time for jokes. I have time to live my life and achieve what I want to achieve and do what I want to do. And I feel that this is just getting way out of hand. So, as April sneaks in tomorrow, I hope that it brings showers. I just hope that it also brings um, a better outcome for a different month and I hope that you know the numbers in COVID cases still continues to go down. I hope that um, you know people can start learning to love one another. I hope that people can you know start to eventually you know get back into whatever they are um, you know, whatever their occupation is, and I hope that, um, you know, that God blesses us all, and that's all that, you know, that I can hope for.